Hi, I'm Andrew Akipov. I'm the development lead here at Flixpress, and in this video I'll be giving you a brief overview of Flixpress Pro, the new and advanced features, how to get it and how to use it. As you may already know, video production can be very tedious, very expensive, very complex, and a time-consuming process. So in, uh, in order to uh, remedy that, we came up with a system and platform that uh, does a lot of work for you in the background via automation. And this is what Flixpress Pro really is. It allows you to sit in the director's chair and, and uh, customize certain looks and layouts and assets and bring and build them together in the, in the video by giving you many, many shortcuts uh, to creating uh, amazing videos online. As far as the pricing for Flixpress Pro, Flixpress Pro utilizing pay-as-you-go pricing model, which means that you deposit a certain amount of credit and then use it up for, for what you need only. So there's no monthly fees. So all you require to do to gain access to Flixpress professional features is to uh, deposit the minimum amount of uh, $50, which grants you the access. And you do that by uh, navigating to flixpress.com, clicking on Go Pro, and then... Uh, the, using uh, this option here to buy fifty dollars, uh, obviously when you signed up for account, and, and then you'll be given access to certain professional features that we're going to go over shortly. Once you've been given access to the professional features of Flixpress, right away you're going to notice two new features in uh, your account section. So under my account, you will see two new tabs, uh, previews and my content. We're going to go over previews a little bit later. Right now we're going to touch up on my content. Flixpress Pro utilizing the library approach to uh, uploading your video and audio. So basically here is the section where you upload your um, audio, your own audio and video to use in Flixpress Pro uh, template. This way you can uh, reuse a lot of assets without having to upload them over and over again. And uh, you can get rid of them once you don't need don't need them you can preview what they are here in this section so uploading them is easy as clicking upload on the top for a uh, video and upload for the bottom for the audio <coughs> video is restricted to uh, these formats on the top so you can read it for yourself and the only limitation right now is that video has to be 30 seconds or less uh, and there's a specific reason for it, uh, an obvious reason that you're probably not going to be using more than 30 seconds of the video. Uh, as far as the audio you can uh, upload um, mp3 format less than five minutes long uh, one more thing to mention is that uh, the best uh, resolution for video is hd resolution uh, if you upload sd videos we highly recommend them to be 16 by 9 which means widescreen so they are filling the screen appropriately otherwise you may have black bars added to the left and to the right of it But in order to use Flixpress Pro, you don't have to actually upload any of your content. You can use uh, the provided content, which you can get started right away and uh, starting building uh, pretty cool videos. So in order to use Flixpress Pro templates, uh, it's pretty straightforward. You going to automated templates on the site and then uh, any pro template that you see will be accessible to you as a professional template. So you'll see that the difference between regular and normal is the amount of layouts you're given and the amounts of flexibility. And um, this is the features that we're go going to go over right now. So in order to access the professional templates, you can also click on the uh, template categories on the left and you'll see that there's um, all of the Flixverse Pro templates will be labeled uh, with a Pro uh, tag. And uh, right now we have only one, but it, it packs quite a bit of features. So, so it's really like 30 or 40 templates uh, built into one. Not counting all, all the animated text plugins and all the 3D objects and many, many other backgrounds and the stock footage. Uh, so let's get started on this one. So in order to get started, you simply click on the template to preview it. You can preview more features and obviously there's going to be a lot more templates coming up soon and uh, the base price will be uh, listed at the bottom uh, the only difference between uh, regular and professional versions is that certain professional templates such as uh, extendable layout ones will have the base price plus a certain price per 
a certain amount of uh, video rendered. So for example, in this case, it will be uh, $5 plus um, $1 per 20 seconds that you render. And the price will be reflected in the final price of the customizable templates as uh, will be show shown later. So you can cl click customize. Um, this section is just the agreements uh, to the follow general directions and you can click agree, click upload. And um, right away, you're going to notice something uh, different from regular uh, templates is that you are now going to be able to upload the flexible amount of images. In this case, you can upload a uh, minimum of four and a uh, maximum of, of 20. But if you need more, you can always add more later or swap out some more after you actually customize the template. And this is a pretty cool feature of Flexpress. So let's upload some uh, images right now. And I'm going to upload just five just for the speed and click upload now the best resolution to upload uh, in order to frame the images correctly is uh, 7 uh, 1280 by 7 uh, by 720 so 1280 width by 720 height but you don't you don't have to you can actually uh, crop to a proper aspect ratio here and uh, in near future we're going to allow you to upload any resolution and then uh, check um, because there's going to be certain layouts that allow uh, different size of the photos to be used. So, so right now, just uh, click Next and uh, Crop. You can actually select a shorter uh, portion of the photo if needed. But um, I'm just going to go for the speed sake and uh, just do it really fast. So uh, after you uploaded the photos, you're going to be uh, taken to the main uh, version of uh, Flixpress Pro layout customization uh, framework. So the easiest way to get started with a professional template customization is to actually review what this uh, template is capable of. And um, this is why this uh, little help sign at the bottom is for. So you can double click on it and actually view the explanation video uh, as far as uh, how to use it and what to do with this particular template. And um, the directions may be different for uh, variable types of templates. So we highly recommend you to check it out first. <clears throat> On top of that, uh, you will see that uh, there's your main slide customization on the left here, on the main window. And uh, then on the right, you have all of the available layouts that you can customize. So we uh, provide layout-based approach, meaning that each video is built using uh, the, these shorter video blocks that you can customize. And each video block will have uh, explanation on how to use it. So if you can double click and preview it, you'll see uh, what to do with it and what it actually will approximate, uh, approximate the, what it will look like for you. So and you can uh, keep double clicking on these and kind of previewing this and see what type of uh, blocks you would need to uh, build your video. But before you even get to that, we highly recommend you to select your audio first. And the way you do it is uh, by clicking on this audio icon at the bottom. And uh, you can, you, the first one gives you option for a library audio. You can click on that and uh, just pick from uh, Flixpress uh, Pro library audio. So we will have two libraries right now. We have uh, on the we three kings library and we'll we'll be adding digital edge uh, media library but in, in this case uh, we have over 460 tracks and uh, we'll be adding two, 200 more tracks from digital edge media uh, library but uh, you can just simply start browsing or you can um, type in uh, anything you want so for example energy so if you need energy you can search by uh, by keywords and uh, picking the audio up and see what previewing it and see what kind of uh, what kind of audio you would like to have. So keep in mind the length of the audio too, so uh, so that your video uh, will be shorter or or match it and matching the length. And this way, you're you will not be left without the audio. So let's say we like this one. Uh, Flixsource Pro is using drag-and-drop interface, so whenever you want um, 
to customize something, you simply take it from one do window and drag it into the selection window and then select button unlocks and you can select it. So it's easy as that. So on the bottom, you're going to see your um, customization timeline now. Now this uh, little darker blue area is uh, the length of your audio. And you can see the seconds underneath. And uh, these gray blocks are actually the blocks of your video that you can customize. And you can um, right away adjust the timing if you need to. And uh, the blocks right now have, uh, in this particular template, 15 seconds of length uh, restriction. Um, but uh, beyond that, you can make it uh, less or more as you need to. And animation will uh, adjust appropriately and so on. Uh, so you can. Begin by right away adding a couple more uh, blocks, video layouts to to the timeline. You do it by this uh, little new icon at the bottom. So you can add as many as you need to, and you can see total time will be reflected. Once you selected the audio, though, you're not constrained to using that particular audio. So at any time, you can go in and swap it out for something else if you decided that it doesn't quite work for you. So you can. Either use, uh, once again, the library audio uh, as you need to, or you can click and use the second option, which will be given and uh, list your uploaded audio that you uploaded in my content section. My content section. Uh, so you can, once again, uh, preview and, uh, the audio that you uploaded and then uh, drag and drop it and to select it. And your audio will be swapped out. So at this point of time, you can actually click and actually start previewing the workflow and the uh, flow of your video as you go. So you can see the layout will be reflected on the top and they can actually, uh, doesn't appear to switch because they are the same kind. But you can approximate the timing of what the video will look like as far as the timing goes. And, and um, you can actually drag and uh, time certain slides to certain voiceover events or music events and so on. So this is a really cool feature and uh, we hope you find it very useful. If you need more precise timing, you can al always set it on the top. So you can, for example, enter five seconds on, on the slide or 5.5 seconds. And you can see that they will be reflected at the bottom automatically and the content will be shifted appropriately too. Just to avoid any confusion as you're watching this video, I have to mention that I'm recording using a headset, so you're not going to hear um, me playing back certain audio. Um, but the audio will be playing back as you click on play, and you can actually uh, drag or click anywhere in timeline to um, move the playback. And you can visually and audibly adjust uh, the uh, your visuals to the to the sound events. So for example, adjusting, uh, adjusting certain texts popping up during a certain voiceover and so on. This is a very valuable feature.